here. Boom. So we are now recording to the club. So guys, um, welcome, welcome. Good morning, everyone. You're going to want to make sure that your team is on this call. See people are piling on. And guys, um, I know what you're thinking. Like, how is it possible to have amazing hair like that this early in the morning? I know. I know. It's actually <laughs> a friend of mine called me up and uh, needed me to come help him cut a tree early this morning. So this is definitely what I would call bedhead. I'm actually in a skid steer right now. We just moved all the tree debris. Took out that big old tree over there and they're in the process of cutting another one. So y'all get to experience wonderful hair this morning. But enough of my hair. Guys, y'all are in for an absolute treat. This young lady is amazing. She has such a huge heart. Um, I've been privileged enough to get to know her and become friends with her over the last couple of years. And uh, she's now one of my dance partners. We had a little bit of fiesta, rumble, whatever you want to call it, teaching me some uh, Spanish dances over at Ricky's house. It was a lot of fun. So uh, this, this person not only uh, is a lot of fun, has a huge heart, but most importantly is about to share the goods with you guys. She's been uh, not only successful at building this company, but she's had success in the past in other companies and is just a bundle of fun and joy. And I am excited to introduce Miss Barbara Cotto. Over to you, my friend. Thank you, Chris. Good morning, good evening, everyone. Here in Puerto Rico, it's one o'clock. So if you're having lunch uh, while being here, enjoy it. I'm from Puerto Rico. Like I said, I live here. I was born here. My main language is Spanish. I always do this disclaimer. So if you don't understand me, uh, it's okay. Uh, you can uh, comment or, or interrupt me. I don't mind. I will try to do my best. And I made some awesome notes to <laughs> follow my thoughts. Um, I've been here since 2018. I found this as a blessing. I was uh, experiencing this industry, but at that time, my island was going through the struggle of overcoming the results of uh, Hurricane Maria. So everybody was, uh, encountering challenges with their emotions, with the anxiety, uncertainty, sadness, like some, something like right now all over the world. So I found this opportunity as a way of helping my people and helping Latinos all over the world. All over the world. And uh, up to now, I think it was one of the best decisions I've made in my life. I've made great, beautiful friends all over the US and I've learned and grown so much as an individual that I will not change this for nothing. And you have the same possibility right now because uh, when I found this out, I didn't know it was new. I, I didn't know there was uh, nobody bringing this to my country. So I found out I was the first one and you still are the first ones. You are founders. You have a great opportunity to run with this before anybody else gets into your people. So I'm going to share some of the things that I share with my team. I compressed a lot of information so I don't expect you to get the 100%, but if you get only the 10% and you apply it, you will do awesome, all right? So hold on, I will check out my notes to make it easier. Uh, I, I divided this into some steps that are essential in my, in my opinion. The first, uh, the first one is to create your foundation. And this experience must be meaningful to you. You chose to become uh, an entrepreneur. You, you became a business owner. So let's make this experience meaningful. Uh, and everybody asks for the why. Why do you do that? Today, I want to ask you and write, for what do you do this? For what will you work on your business after an eight, 10, 12 hour shift? Uh, for what you will take two to three hours daily away from your family, 
or from the TV, your favorite show, or scrolling simply from social media? Uh, is it for a new home? Is it for your independence? Is it for a debt-free life? Is it for a decent retirement or having a happy quality time with your loved ones? Because you uh, maybe you earn a lot of money, but you work a lot of hours and you don't see them as much as you want. You don't share and you don't spend quality time with them as much as you want. Or for that family dream vacation to have a better lifestyle. I don't know uh, what's your for what, but if you don't have it, if you don't have at least one reason to do this and, and needs to come from your heart and needs to motivate you and wake you up in the morning and take your sleep away, you, if you don't have that, you will have a thousand circumstances that get your focus out of this. So it, I encourage you to take this for what, write it down and put it in a visible place. So every time something happens, you focus on that, on the reason. A, the foundation must include your tangible, measurable goal in the business to ful fulfill that meaning. So I have a personal meaning. I have a, a place to go, right? And I can describe it. I can see what I want, but I need to translate that into my business. So I need to know if I need for that dream $1,000, $2,000, I need to translate it. How does this look into the business plan, my weekly uh, goals, my weekly action plan, et cetera. So your business is so powerful. You can do it casual, like everything, or you can be intentional, do it intentional like Starbucks with a much better coffee, of course, I know. <laughs> But the thing is that uh, you can turn it on or off as many times as you want, as many days as you want per week or per month, or you can have a, a very clear intention of where do you want to take this boat. Where do you want to take this, this uh, thing? So anyways, by becoming a happy partner, you need to understand that you're choosing, that you are the author of, or, of your own success by determine, determining your schedule, your speed, your income, and your success. And let me rephrase that. If you take care of your schedule and your speed, Your income and success will be a response of your actions. So step number two, once you have that in mind, take action. We don't come here to become philosophers. And I love to talk about life and about happiness, but we create happiness. We share happiness. We are happiness. So in order to do that, I love structure and systems that help me and that will help you to keep it simple and doable. Do not overcomplicate things. And most of the time when we get complicated is because we forgot what are the things that we need to do. So one of the things I teach my team is that our comp plan is the map and compass in this journey. It leads to your healthy business behaviors. So, If you don't know where to start, start with your cap bonus, seven customers. If you don't know how to uh, multiply yourself, go to the comp plan and it will tell you how good we compensate for enrolling another person to do the same thing as we do. And commissions for enrollments are really good. So after that, help others and repeat, that's it. If you want to go grow faster, you can do this monthly and you will be all right. You can have an extra money. You can uh, have your, your product for free. But if you want to grow faster and go faster, do it more often. Instead of having this goal for a month, take it for, how about taking it weekly, right? So let me tell you something. And re remember this always, to not to quit. A diamond is a bronze that never gave up and never shut up. 
a diamond is a bronze that never gave up and never shut up. I remember when this opportunity came, it's the same feeling that I'm having right now with the Happy Co that I have something new, I have something exclusive, but I need to share it to make it popular. So I started running, running, running. What I did, become a bronze and teach how to become a bronze as many times as I could. So if I touch people, I would do it in order for them in the best interest to, for them to become a bronze. Have and be loyal to your daily method of operation based on your job description. And yes, you should be clear on your job description. And like I was saying before, if you don't know what you have to do, you can get distracted, confused, involved, overwhelmed by other things that are not necessarily your priority and are not income producing activity. So let's talk about your job description. Your first job description is to have fun, smile and listen. Have fun, smile and listen. If people is not seeing you, 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 you are not delivering the message because people will get your, your, your vibe. People will get identified because if they are fun already, they will resonate with you. But if they want to be happy, they want more fun in their life, they want a financial liberty and they find it in you, they will be attracted. I want what she what she has. I want what he has. And that's how we develop this. Your business is a reflection of your personal development and relationship growth. So a, you can reach out and I strongly suggest you create that chicken list and you go and have everything in paper, go one by one without prejudging anyone and share what we have here <clears throat> but sometimes we say well uh, from where i come from or the people i'm surrounded with is not what i'm looking for then because of your job description that is to create new relationships and attract the people you would like to have in your team go ahead and reach out for strangers all of you were strangers for me before until I chose to get here. And before this, I did that with a lot of places. I took classes, I gave classes, I work in places. I have people I don't know in Facebook. So we have at least one connection. I take advantage of that connection and do an approach so we can uh, connect and have a second reason why to stay together that is our happy drinks on our happy line. So part of your job description is to become or be a storyteller, share and create expectations. Nobody wants to go to a place that is empty. Uh, well, now we, we kind of prefer uh, places with less people, right? <laughs> because of circumstances, but we love places where the, the feeling, the action is, is up. And when you are choosing for a restaurant, if you have two restaurants in front of you and one is empty, you don't wanna go there because you think the food tastes like crap. So you always choose the, the more crowded restaurant. People is going there, it must be good. The same thing with your business. So have, have something good to share have good news to share, have something new. We have something new, share it and create expectation. Don't give everything to people. Uh, like I tell my, my team, don't be the movie, be the trailer, be the trailer, be attractive. So when you go and take that person to the tools, to our Zoom meetings, to everything, they find extra and you can keep on going. Besides being a storyteller, you are a connector here in two ways. Number one, you connect persons with a need or desire for a lifetime, lifetime opportunity. So let me tell you, you with this business 
you are a dream catcher. You see a dream, we have the vehicle to make it happen, to, to fund it, to, to make it a resource for that to, to, to happen, to manifest. You are hope. There's people that think that since they didn't go to college, they didn't end up uh, a degree, uh, they are in a very bad spot in life, they don't have any hope at all on their lives. And we are hope. We can do this. People can do this no matter experience, what experience they have, a, a income background, professional background, anything. So you are a possibility for a lot of people. You have the answer to a prayer in your, in your hands. Maybe there's people around you praying. Uh, you don't know because we sometimes we don't open up uh, and don't uh, talk about what's going on in our lives, the struggles. But if you don't ask and if you don't approach, you won't know. So maybe you can be today and answer prayer to somebody else. You are the key holder of an opportunity someone is desperately looking for. So be, be, the, be the billboard of the opportunity. You are a problem solver. So uh, by the way, every complaint is a chance for you. So if you have a friend that complains about their job, you have an opportunity. You have a, a problem to, uh, a tool to solve that problem. If the person complains about time, we can do something about it uh, with them. Be a problem solver to your people. And you, the other way you are a connector is that you connect them to tools as a powerful servant leader. We connect people to other people that want to be happy and want to share happiness. So. Number one was your foundation. Number two is to take action. Number three, understand that job description. A second part of that, what do you do? Simple, three step. Use it, share it, and show it. That's it. Use it, share it, and show it. And you have daily chores, which some, some people call DMO. And this is something, uh, a golden nugget that uh, Ricky Duran brought, brought to my life because I've always uh, have good results in my business, but I wanted to go to the next level. And I was a little uh, unorganized, disorganized. I don't know how to say that word, but you understand me. I, I was a mess, a <laughs> hot mess. I was uh, looking for results and I measured my results, but not had this daily commitment to do certain things. And these DMO basics, these daily chores, respond to two things, how many and how often. Two times per day, three hours per day, one hour per day. It brings you to consistency and doing uh, income producing activities that will eventually, sooner or later, will have some results for you. Good results, the one that you want for. So it also answers how many blank daily, how many new fresh prospects I, I will get, how many follows I will give, how many calls I will make, how many posts I will do in social media, a, how, a, how many tools I'm going to use, a, and how many pages I'm going to read as personal development. Even, though, even if you have not in a lot of time, you can propose to yourself to read at least five pages of something for your personal growth. And that will keep you in the wheel. Fall in love with the actions, not with results because your business doesn't happen to you. Your business will always respond to you. Number four, what to do with a possible happy co uh, customer? Number one, the power of coaching and the power of business is asking because maybe if you start talking and talking and talking and talking, uh, you show hypey or you show like a fan and it's okay, we are fans. We have the best thing in the world. This is what goes next to holy water. I know <laughs> two years here demonstrate that, but 
if you ask, you can be more proactive, you can be more effective on knowing what the person you're talking to needs. So ask questions. Uh, and there are two basic questions that needs to be done. Do you drink coffee or tea at all? And have you heard about the happy drinks everybody's talking about? Now I say happy drinks because it's not only coffee or tea, we have lemonade, we have uh, peach tea, et cetera. And we have chocolate. So ask questions, check out, listen to the person needs and share your story with emotion. We are not hype, but yes, we are totally convinced that we have the best. So emotion comes from motion. If you're not moving, if uh, your, your tone of voice is low, you're talking to me about happiness and about feeling incredible, but your body language and your, your, your tone is not uh, consistent with that. Make sure that you are what you sell. Uh, number three, connect the person to the tool or the tools. Add to a group, and this is very important. Just don't throw them there. Tag them or comment their names in at least two key points according to that person's need. We are full of testimonials, and I told you, we're storytellers. So one of the things I do early in the morning is that if I'm not receiving a text message or a note from one of my customers saying that they are doing awesome on their needs with our products, I go to our groups and read a couple of testimonies. So in case I found somebody that doesn't uh, resonate with my personal story, I can bring those other stories up. And, you know, I don't know what you're going uh, through, but my friend, is going through a lot of struggle, was going through a lot of struggle with her sadness and these products uh, brought joy back to her, etc. So add people to groups and comment their names on two key posts. Have a favorite video to send. So uh, I don't look for a video when I have the person. I have one video in the app and in my cell phone or in the group that I know that everybody must see, no matter what. And invite them to the next opportunity Zoom. Now, let's talk about this opportunity Zoom. Maybe you will say, well, I have most of my people are customers and they are not interested on the opportunity. Well, we are not permanent. We are not trees. So maybe you invite them and listening to other people will make them change their mind. You can get mad because they are listening to another person or you can be clever and put them out there to catch information from other people, stories from other people that maybe the way they say the same thing, the same message you have will change their experience. So, and their decision to start a, the business with you. And number four, when you have a possible happy customer, close and follow up. And closing is not making a sale. Closing is knowing the true objection if that person says no, knowing if it is a true prospect or not. So how do I follow up? Even though they tell me yes or no, I use news. We are in a beautiful spot right now. So we are constantly having good news. We have 12 days of Christmas. We have um, bundles. Uh, we have changes in our, in our uh, places. So those are news that you can use as excuses for follow-up. And if you have a friend, a close friend, you always share your happiness with them. And you write a message like, hey, I don't know how you're doing. I hope you're doing fine. I just want to share my happiness. My company is doing this, this or that. We're pre-launching and next year it's going to be amazing. I can feel it. I feel it for me. And I, and I feel also that I will change a lot of lives just to share that with you, share my happiness. 
even though I don't tell that person uh, speech, a uh, 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 sales pitch or an enrollment pitch, that person can uh, become curious and change their mind. And if not, they will not feel uh, intimidated by the message because I'm just sharing uh, how I feel and something that I would tell my best friend. You can use events, the launching, offers, and your accomplishments as follow-up for excuses. And remember, uh, sometimes we have so huge expert expectations that we do not fail because it's not working, but because we don't know what we don't know. So I'm gonna tell you something. There's people that will sustain your growth and while you learn, because they will buy immediately, but that is one to 2% of your people. So be grateful with them. They are funding and they are supporting your startup. There's 5% of the people, of your people that will never buy, no matter what you do, no matter how you dress, no matter how you transform yourself, those 5% no, will never do this. And that's okay. There are things that you will never do because you don't know. So uh, be empathetic with them. And 93% of the people will do it only if you do follow up. So we need to be exposed at least when, when we need follow up, we need to be exposed at least seven to 12 times to some information in different ways. You can be creative, be creative. You have tools. It's boring and it's, uh, it's not cool to receive a call. Hey, how are you? I'm just calling to ask you, when are you ordering my happy stuff <laughs> or enjoying or joining my team? But you can share, literally, be happiness and be contagious. Number five, I have a simple social media strategy. Social media understand that social media is a place to meet, not necessarily is a place to stay. So if you're living in social media, you're missing a lot of people. Be personal. Being old school is something cool right now. And that means talking instead of texting. Take people out of those texts, out of that messenger. When you do that, you will find out that people is desperate to talk to another human being, to make new friends. And we have that here. That's, that's what we enjoy the most of our business. So don't limit your business to online or attraction marketing only. Don't wait for people to choose you. You can uh, identify what kind of people, what type of people you resonate with, with whom you feel comfortable and produce results and go after them and be you. Your vibe attracts your tribe and share more about who you are, what you love, what you enjoy and how does that happy coffee effect translate into a better quality lifestyle. So I can uh, talk and talk and talk about the benefits of the product or I can be the benefits of the product. I can be a walking billboard of what can our products do. And always keep your relationship growing with new people. Online, offline, relate, relate, relate. Your mission is to meet your friends' friends in and out of Facebook. Become a daily storyteller, online or offline, doesn't matter. But crave for new relationships, new friendships, new partners, and helping your friends by meeting your, your friends' friends. Use social media as a resume or a business card by sharing who you are and what we share about. So what is the purpose of social media? So when people go to your profile, it's like going to your, to your home when you first uh, go and, and, and see it, to buy it. I used to be a realtor and I knew when somebody was falling in love automatically with a house. 15 seconds, it's all it, 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 it's all it takes. 
is the same with your profile. So be strategic and put things there to gain their trust and likeness through your authentic content. If you write or share things that are not about you, when they meet you, they will find out you, you become an imposter and that's not cool for you, for your business or for your growth, be you. And it's better to have one valuable daily post than three generic ones. Memes are nice, but it's philosophy. People will take it and share it, but it will not necessarily transform somebody else's life. But if you do one post that can make a person smile, see life different, you will go further. Number six, applied mindset. And that means that we must be, as you may heard, my favorite word is be. But you need to be in order to do and to have. So I, I uh, encourage you to say this out loud every day. I am happy. I'm intentional. I'm a connector and a storyteller. I'm talented. I have what I need and I am what is needed. So I don't need to go to college to do this. I can do it. I have gifts to offer. I am urgent. I am a list lover. I love to make list of people, list of uh, goals, list of dreams, list of prospects, list of partners. I am a list lover. I am what I read. I do not only read, I apply. I walk my, through my reading. I prefer five excellent uh, pages than a book that is empty. I am as a partner to my uplines the same way as I want my downlines to be with me. I repeat that. I am as a partner to my uplines the same way as I want my downlines to be with me. Few extra tips. Don't wait to be chosen. That is playing by luck on business. We suggest to start to share your experience with 10 to 20 people weekly if you're coming here to be intentional only. If you're coming to be casual, that's okay. Be normal, forget the sales pitch. Write everything in just one sacred notebook at a time. And I'm guilty of that. I struggle because I love notebooks and I have a lot of notebooks and then I reground myself and go back to one and become a list lover. That way you can track and remember everything, conversations, numbers, things. When you uh, call a person or somebody calls you, you can go back to their last conversation. Confused minds never choose. So this is a golden nugget. Always suggest two best options to your potential customers. Don't let them see all that bunch of possibilities because they will leave it to later and later sometimes become never. So focus on what you solve rather than what you sell. We can solve so many things through this financially, uh, in health, lifestyle. Uh, focus on that. Move people from messenger to a call. Your uplines are dying to support you. Use them, but know how to use them. They can support you, but they cannot help you. Oh, what are you talking about, Barbie? Well, they will work with you. I strongly suggest you do three to five calls with them uh, so you get uh, the sense of how do they do it but they cannot do it for you. So you need to know that you have a business and you have partners, but everybody have a purpose. So everybody have a task to do in this universe. And uh, Yudi uh, Willardson so, uh, at some moment gave me this advice, advice and I love it. I love to share it. She told me, Barbie, you... Your priorities are, number one, your personal results, your personal customers, your personal enrollments, and 
your personal customers and your personal par partners. What does that mean? I need to take care, first of all, of what am I going to create that I can control, which are my personal results, and to duplicate what I know and how to do things with my customers and partners. And everything's going to be all right. So this is it. I hope you learn. I hope I brought something nice for your business. Uh, I was like running. I thought uh, time will not uh, be enough. I think I made it. And uh, well, that's it. I hope you have a great day, a great Saturday. Uh, next to this is a great uh, Zoom. So see you there. Thank you. Gracias, Barbie. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you so much. Thank you. Great training. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Blessings.